Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here for week five. Um, I think at this point I've discussed my uh, trades that I've made on my team. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see one of those Pokemon in action here, I promise. But uh, this time I'm actually going to start at the bottom of the lineup. Because why not? Let's just shake it up. Uh, for my uh, opponent this week, it's the Urshifu Rain Sun, which is, uh, it seems like kind of a gimmick team where you have uh, options to make a rain team or a sun team work. Um, there's no automatic setter on on this team, but there are plenty of Pokemon that get access to either or both of Rain Dance and Sunny Day. So I think that's probably the style they're going to lean into here. I have my sort of reservations about whether a, that, that type of... Uh, team works but um we'll, we'll just see what happens uh here i have colossal i've got max special defense with terra water this is primarily my check to uh uh what's his name volcarona um i have rock blast which uh is favored to kill volcarona i think i just have to hit i, I think if i hit two if especially if it's an offensive it just dies so um if he's if the Volcarone is max defense, then I might have to hit three, but I'm not sure. Uh, Heat Crash is just, you know, for damage. It's a fire type move. I didn't want to run Flare Blitz, uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's kind of it. And then uh, I have Stealth Rock and Block. So Stealth Rock is important against this team because one of the things you might notice about it is that there's not really a hazard remover. I guess technically Isui and Lilligant gets defog, but how consistent of a removal option is that? I don't know. You don't really want to run Defog on Hisuian Lilligant most of the time, so um, I would say I'm pretty confident that if I can get the rocks up, they'll stay up. I have Block as a move. Block is supposed to be kind of this option that if my opponent switches and I manage to get a good block off, I can... Uh, get a free switch to whatever is a good counter. If say um, I can catch, if I can catch Volcarona trying to come in, block that, and I'm guaranteed to get my Rock Blast off on it. Uh, in particular, it's supposed to be kind of this funny thing where if I block their Urshifu switching in, um, I can guarantee that they're going to be in and have to click a move and hopefully that move is surging strikes because i'm trying to get them to surging strikes into one of my pokemon in particular uh we won't see that pokemon yet because we're talking about the hermit uh i've got uh toxic on this variant i mean it's similar to a lot of those slow kings that i've run with max special defense uh toxic is to help me with uh volcarona as well future sight uh their team's dark type is spiritum so if i can Eliminate Spiritomb, then Future Sight is going to go Aki on their team. They've got uh, a, a handful of uh, Psychic Weeks, but um, and some and not a ton of resists. So hopefully that can help. Uh, Chili Reception is going to disrupt their weather if they tend to if they try to set it. Um, and yeah, the Hermit's going to be pretty good in this matchup, I think. And here he is, the Rock. Um, man, I, I love Tauros. Uh, in any case, we have a really funny set here. I've got uh, Anger Point as my ability. Uh, if you don't know, Surging Strikes always crits. And Anger Point is an ability that when you get hit with a critical hit, you get plus 12 attack or, you know, maxing out at plus 6, of course. So, my goal is to try to bait the Urshifu into clicking surging strikes and hitting the Tauros and then getting uh, up to plus six. And if I get a trailblaze off, I'm the fastest thing on the field. Uh, and I'm I'm favored to kill pretty much everything with uh, wave crash, close combat, Zen headbutt. Um, yeah, this is gonna be really fun. And I figured I needed all four of those attacking moves. So I'll just throw an assault vest on just in case I have to take a special attack. Um, not really much uh, thought put into the item there, but to be honest, I don't think, I don't know what the calcs are about, like, do I live a Giga Drain from uh, 
Volcarona or something with the Assault Fest. I'm not sure. I did not do those calcs. That was not necessarily what I was interested in. I just wanted to do something funny here. Um, and I hope it works out because I think that would be really, really fun to see that uh, happen. Uh, our first new Pokemon for our draft, the Lovers, uh, Florges, who's uh, replacing Sylveon, which Fly High Sylveon. Um, we have Wish, Synthesis, Moonblast, and Psychic Noise. Synthesis is going to be great if they set up the sun, if they set up the rain, not so much, but I still have Wish. Um, I can Having two healing moves is really dirty, um, but... Uh, still pretty nice uh i would have protect but unseen fist uh from urshifu just breaks through protect so that's not nice um i'll show you the speed stat here this stat here is half of uh dragapult speed stat rounded up why do i care about that well my opponent has kingdra and kingdra with swift swim it'll double its speed in the rain so i'm thinking that it's possible that they might run uh like this amount of speed uh, to try to outspeed Dragapult. So I'm basically speed creeping them. I might have messed this up actually, thinking about it. Uh, I might need one more, but uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, yeah, Floor's just going to be nice. Psychic Noise is there just in case they have something that's like got leftovers or some sort of recovery move um, that's spamming it. Um, it could be decent into uh, some of the fighting types uh, if I feel like Moonblast is not a safe click for some reason, albeit they don't really have a lot of fairy resist on this team, so I don't know necessarily why that would be the case, but you know, maybe they have rest or something and I can stop them from getting a rest off again. Now we've got the Fool here, and this is most this is basically like a lead spikes kind of set. I don't know if I will lead, but um, the idea is that I totally could um spiky shield is to uh you know just see what my opponent's going for as long as it's not urshifu um and yeah just stack the spikes because again they don't really have hazard removal so even if uh uh ogre pond can't get a kill for itself or anything if it gets up a bunch of spikes it'll be very very useful in this matchup finally we have 13 13 put in a lot of great work for me last week. I hope to, it will do a lot of great work for me this week. So I'm running no item, which you don't see very commonly on Dragapult. Um, you might, you know, you'll, you'll see some funny things on Dragapult and Draft because it can just do a lot of a lot of things for your team. But what I noticed about this team in particular that I'm up against, look at this like top six here. Five of them are weak to flying. And I said, well, I need a flying type move. Who on my team gets a flying type move? And I saw Dragapult gets acrobatics. And I said, okay, it's time to cook. And I'm just running no item because basically I want to get acrobatics off. Maybe I could run a diff like an item that might give me some utility, but I can't be guaranteed that I'm going to get hit with like a dark type move for Colber Berry or a ghost type move for Kebia Berry or whatever. So I just said, eh, let's just uh, go for, let's just go for broke and be no item. Uh, Dragon darts is going to be really good coverage into this team. I don't think there's a fairy type. I don't uh, put the, if I remember to put it up there, I don't put the team up to see it right there. Um, so I don't remember if there is a prominent fairy type on the team that can switch into Dragon Darts, but uh, I know that well, very few Pokemon on this team switch into Acrobatics. Um, so, yeah, if I get a Dragon Dance off, it could be Jover. Uh, and I think it would be not particularly difficult to get a Dragon Dance off if I can uh, block or Shifu into a move that's not Ice Punch or Ice Spinner or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is going to be... Uh, an interesting team. I'm, I'm excited to see how it'll do. And with that, we'll go on to the uh, battle portion of this video. All right, here we are. Um, so first thing I noticed about this team 
Kingdra, Iron Jugulus. That kind of screams, I'm setting rain uh, to me. Uh, you know, Kingdra is going to be really bad in Sun. And uh, Iron Jugulus is not particularly good in Sun either because one of its be better moves is Hurricane. And being 50% accurate with your Hurricanes is just not good. Um, so I'm not too worried about uh, the Sun aspect of this uh, of this team. Um, in any case, uh, I think my team will match up okay. I am a little scared of if Iron Jugulus can get a nasty plot off, it's a booster speed. Um, it might do pretty well into this team. Uh, the Spear Tomb is always a wild card. I have no idea what Spear Tomb is going to do. Um, Meloetta is similarly a wild card. I, have, I don't really know what it will do. Um, in any case, we'll just uh, go on see what it, see what we can do here. I think I lead Colossal as I am uh, tend to do. Uh, I go Terra Water right away uh, against the Meloetta because I'm thinking hmm, this could be a Choice Specs Meloetta with Focus Blast. This could be a pure like a Relic Song Pirouette form type Meloetta, so it ha might have close combat. Um, and I just don't want to take a fight, a super effective fighting type move, so I go Terra Water right away. Um, I get my rocks up. You know, there's just there's nothing on this team that can remove the rocks. I don't see Lilligant, so um, pretty safe to go for that. Uh, Meloetta is gonna drop a th dirty Thunder on me and get the Para, and I'm gonna miss Rock Blast. So that's that was a great turn for me. Uh, I switch hard to Slow King, and they go for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. There, I mean, that's that's also dirty to, to read the Slow King switching in. But um, I don't get dropped, so I'm okay. Um, they go for another Shadow Ball. They do get the drop that time. I get my Future Sight, which is not that useful. Iron Jugulus, I did forget to mention Iron Jugulus as one of the dark types that could switch into uh, Future Sight. So uh, go ahead and roast me in the comments about that. Um, maybe I should not have gone for Future Sight. Maybe I should have went for uh, like a Sludge Bomb, maybe try to get it, or Toxic to try to get a Poison on uh, Meloetta. Um, but now with the drop, I have to switch, so I switch back to Colossal. And they go for a Luring Voice, which I don't know exactly what that was anticipating. I mean, maybe they thought I was going to go to Tauros? I don't know. Um, I still think Thunder probably would have been a better mid-ground play. So they set the Rain Dance again. Uh, they take a Future Sight for basically nothing. Uh, I see no leftovers, which is good. Uh, and I have such high special defense that this Meloetta is just never going to break. They revealed all their moves. I know they don't have anything to boost their uh, special attack. Cl Calm Mind would have been kind of crazy on this Meloetta. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to slowly chip away here. Um, I don't want this uh, rain to be up for Kingdra to come in and start sweeping. So I decided I was going to go to Ogre Pond here because I set up the wish. I know that none of Meloetta's moves are going to uh, put me lower than what wish would get me back to full. So I thought it was safe to switch to Ogre Pond, but I go <laughs> into a Thunder <laughs> and get paired again. The the luck in this game is kind of insane. Um, I get hit with a Shadow Ball. No drop, though, thankfully. And I get my Spike up. Uh, I get hit with another Shadow Ball. I get my second layer of Spikes up. And then I f figure I can save this because Floor just is not going to take any damage. Um, might as well not let the Ogre Pond die. Um, if I can help it. Maybe, and maybe I can come back in and get a spike off later. Uh, they go for Rain Dance. I wish. Threatening to switch to uh, one of my other guys. They go for Thunder and get a Para again. Like, this is just insane to me. Um, they get the Spadef drop there. I get my Chili Reception. Thankfully, I have not got fully paralyzed on any of those turns. That would have been really, really annoying. Um, but I can come in with Dragapult and finally kill off the Meloetta when there's no rain. So Kingdra can't come in. Uh, Spear Tomb does, though, and it sets up rain, which is another <laughs> another travesty here. I am faster than Spear Tomb even when paralyzed, so I just go for the spikes. 
It goes for Confuse Ray. That's like dirty. The Parafusion is dirty. And it, then it reveals Toxic. Uh, I guess they were anticipating me to switch to... Uh, I don't know who they were anticipating me to switch to. Maybe uh, Florgis, that would make sense. Um, and if they got the Toxic off on Florgis, that would have been nice. But I, I go to Colossal instead. Um, they confuse me. I go for block, expecting a switch out here, because I was like, well, I mean, the Spear Tomb with Rain Dance, Confuse Ray, Toxic, it cannot do anything to uh, Colossal. Maybe its last move is Foul Play, and I don't really care about Foul Play. Um, I go to the Fool here. I'm going to get a Horn Leech off to get some HP back. Uh, they go for Confuse Ray. I go to Colossal. Pain Split. Um, switch to Slow King. I'm Parafused. Switch to Colossal. They Rain Dance. I'm Parafused. I hit myself in Confusion. I heal more than I did to myself with Leftovers. At this point, I'm kind of thinking maybe the best thing to do would just be to uh, PP stall the Spear Tomb completely. Because it doesn't seem like my opponent wants to switch Spirit Tomb for any reason. Um, and uh, Colossal's never going to die to this. So I'm just throwing off some Rock Blast for, like, just in case they switch. Uh, not necessarily intending to kill. But there, I kind of figured a, a Pain Split was coming. And if I can come in and hit a Horn Leech, I kill. So let, let's just end this saga of the match. Uh, Urshifu comes in pretty brutal i go to colossal uh to gauge what it's gonna go for if it went for uh a close combat and it was uh uh i think the only move that would have killed me was banded close combat um maybe banded drain punch would have as well but in any case it would have had to be banded and lock into probably a fighting type move if it did that uh it would have uh it would have lost the game because uh, Dragapult would come in, get a Dragon Dance off, and then it's, uh, yeah, it's over. Um, but, unless, you know, you know, unless you had, like, an Endure Custatberry Rain Dance, which would have been really, really insane, but also really cool. Um, but, uh, in any case, uh, I did do the calc on this, and this looks like it's Punching Glove uh, Drain Punch. So I'm going to switch to Glow King, which I know is going to take it pretty well. They actually go for uh, Surging Strikes here, which is not good. Because uh, now I'm, I'm just going to be dead to the next one. So I switched to Tauros, anticipating them to go for it again. But they taunt. And I said, okay, I'm just going to go back to Slow King. Because you're not going to Surging Strike the, the, the rock there. But then I'm like, okay, maybe they'll Surging Strike the Glow King. They know they kill. And they just go for Taunt again. And I'm like, forget this. I'm just going to Trailblaze. I trailblaze there, and I'm like, hmm, I have a chance to kill with close combat, but it's not, like, a super great chance. It's, like, 63%, maybe, if they're the investment that I think that they are. Um, and I was like, I'd rather not risk it. Uh, I'll just go hard into uh, uh, Slow King. But then they go for Surging Strikes. So I'm like, damn, if I just went for uh, another trailblaze there... I would have been so set up to win, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I have to sack uh, Colossal. In comes Dragapult. I know that they don't have a move to hit me. Poison Jab's their best move, and it's not going to kill. And I'm going to Dragon Dance up. I'm guaranteed faster, even if there's a Scarf Kendra. Uh, Dragon Dance, or Dragon Darts kills. Uh, I see they take the rocks, and that is like, okay, uh, Dragon Darts will kill this as well. Um, I know I knew because they were booster speed that they couldn't invest enough into HP and defense to stop uh, Dragon darts from killing they would have needed nearly max to avoid the KO so and uh, They can't have max bulk and booster uh, Speed unless they were super sacking a uh, special attack, which I just do not see that being the case um, In comes ogre pawn and I reveal acrobatics and yeah, it's over um Urshifu comes in, uh, it's over. I said GG and then they forfeited, uh, which, I mean, I don't know if they feel some kind of way about the match. Uh, 
or if they just like didn't want to waste any more time there. Uh, this is going to be a kill for Dragapult uh, as far as the stats are concerned. And yeah, that's the game. I mean, th this team, it had some scary options. I do think uh, it would have been interesting to see Volcarona uh, as a potential win con there. It would have been a great boots candidate. I don't think anything on this team was boots. Um, but yeah, Volcarona with boots uh, in place of maybe Meloetta. Uh, getting a quiver dance off, it would have been really scary into my team, especially if, uh, like, if what happened to my Colossal happened again. I guess you wouldn't necessarily have that happen if Meloetta was not on the field. Um, but, like, yeah, it, that could have been really scary. Um, but, I, yeah, I mean, this team did not have much in the way of stopping this particular Dragapult set. Um, like any time that it gets a dragon dance off it can kind of just be over like that which is really scary really crazy that this is a, a a thing that's allowed in the draft league maybe i'm pushing the band dragapult agenda even though uh, i'm getting to use it maybe i just want the uh, treasures that nobody else is allowed to have um <laughs> yeah um but no i mean a uh, good game to my opponent. Uh, I hope to see them. Uh, they, they're the one that's remaking a lot of their or rescheduling a lot of their games because of uh, uh, some uh, situations out of their control. Totally understandable. Um, I hope that they get some good wins. Uh, and, uh, like, you know, don't be too uh, beat yourself up about this too much. I beat the absolute crap out of Alex. He should beat himself up over that. Uh, Enamorous into five fairy weeks and he couldn't he only got one kill come on bro <laughs> or uh dion because i i just love calling dion out of course um but yeah no this is uh we will uh be back again for this week in review probably also delayed uh, because I had a, we have a lot of games getting rescheduled into next week. I don't know. Maybe the middle of June is just a hot time to not be able to play one game a week. Uh, fair enough, if that is the case. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys back whenever those uh, games get played.